I'm excited to share a building project overview for our Center for Creativity and Innovation. And the critical part of the building has been demolished over the winter break. The auditorium and the two science labs adjacent to the site were closed in the first week back from break, January 8th through 12th, but we do not expect them to be closed again. And uh, next, we expect to see the excavation of the basement. Now that's going to make way for the construction of our new Centre for Creativity and Innovation. And the building is going to be six levels, two below ground, including the full-size gymnasium. And above the gymnasium is a second outdoor court. So that will give us three outdoor courts altogether. An outdoor sports and play equipment area, which is designed for grades 6 through 12, and areas for rest and relaxation. And over the summer, some new reconfigured stairs are going to be built so that the auditorium and labs can be accessed differently, which will allow later building needs to occur. The sports court, the auditorium and the labs will be fully usable during the construction. So you can see here's where the construction is. Here's the site of our new building. And here's where our current auditorium and science labs are. Here's our new building that already opened in 2021. Here's the Orwell building, the elementary building and the blue court. And here, of course, is our pedestrianised street. To see the interim campus configuration and the modifications that we've made for learning and play, you can watch our interim campus configuration video. Now there's already a new access route to the sports court through the gate opposite the main gate. So here's the other secondary building. Here's the pedestrianized hill. And here's the old gate to the old building. And if you come in through that old gate, through the portico, you'll go across here, across the bottom of, of what is currently the nuns area uh, when we rented a, a passageway there and that will take us through into the sports court if you come in here and then you go down some stairs you can enter the auditorium or the science labs so we expect the uh, science labs the sports court the auditorium to be open for the duration of the construction project and afterwards. Uh, the demolition and groundwork to prepare the site has already been uh, completed by February of this year and we expect our new building to be open in spring of 2026. So excavation and noise will be limited to times outside of the spring IB diploma exams. I know that's a concern for some people and it's really really important to note that everything we share is always going to be contingent on planning and permitting at various stages of the project. Uh, we're set to follow a timeline that nears completion in spring 2026, and we'll keep you posted as we go along. Now, our building is going to be uh, built to LEED standards. LEED stands for Leadership in Energy Certification and Design, and we'll be certified at the gold level. And all aspects of the demolished materials must be reused in the new building if they can be recycled or sustainably disposed of. And during the demolition, there was salvage of metal and plastic and other materials. So that underscores our commitment to living our mission of nurturing citizenship in line with the sustainable development goals. Before the demolition occurred, we relocated healthy trees to a vivarium for replanting on our new campus alongside new trees. This was also part of our LEED certification and commitment to the environment. So to get a better understanding of the interim campus configuration that supports student learning and play, again, uh, check out our design hopes and dreams for our new spaces. We invite you to watch other videos that are available on our parent portal.